Hello guys, so in this video we are going to see how to get a result like this in the example scene where we have a railway and a train all in one step. Uh, I'm going to explain how to get this result and um, we are going to check out how we can animate it and how we can move it in order to get um, the train more interested interesting so um, let's start we're going to start from scratch the first stuff you need in the scene is the railway manager the railway manager is the one which is actually managing uh, the, the prefabs uh, that are uh, actually the railway and the train itself so I'm going to delete this one uh, this stuff here, I'm going to show uh, each step. Uh, I want to to fill this information again in order for you to to see how to set up your own train with the battle train centurion carriage. <clears throat> so we set this to zero. We're going to fill our the first thing we have to know is that whenever uh, in this in this version, uh, you can add more than one wagon, and so when we set this to one, and we could say that's two, for example, uh, in the future it's going to be more wagons. So uh, I set it to one. Then I have to assign here uh, the prefab of the wagon, the battle train centurion. I have it here in my folder prefabs. Uh, set it to wagon and a si size rep. The size rep is a part of the prefab which tells the manager how why is the wagon in order to uh, set the position for each wagon in the train. So I'm going to assign the wagon base here in size roof then we have this uh, variable copies uh, it has to be at least one to be one wagon and then railway engine uh, we're not going to check that uh, out um, fixed space fixed space uh, means that <coughs> whatever it is one it takes uh, the whole uh, measure of the wide of the prefab uh, as the wide of the wagon. So if you set this fixed space into two, it would take uh, uh, two two times two times the wide of the wagon. Uh, let's show. I, I want to show that. If, yeah, for example, uh, let's say you have the wagon. This piece, the wagon base, is just this this one is the one we use to uh, to tell the manager how uh, why the wagon is so let's say that i i put uh, number 2 this is simply a multiplier let us say 2 it would be 2 times the y so i set it to 1 and then we have this uh, mode in which we assign the wagon to uh, a particular spline we can set up to two splines at the same time um, by now, but it will be more splines uh, later. <coughs> and railway, okay. This uh, with this, we're going to. I'm, uh, I'm going to turn this off because if not, the manager will not work properly. And I would hit. Uh, I would press uh, play in order to see the result. I have just one wagon, and as you can see, the this wagon is going through the path of the spline okay so let's say I want more wagons for example so I just have to uh, I only have to to change these copies to 5 for example and I press play again and let's see the results and there you have uh, you have a train of uh, 5 carriages um, carriage so uh, sorry for my English Set it up. And let's say, for example, you like to change your color. 
you can you can do that actually uh, you have two ways of, of changing the color uh, well actually you have three but uh, there is a color picker in the uh, UI you may turn this off and in the rail manager there's a, a section for the variable color train color which you can change the color of the whole uh, whole train if I hit play, let's see. <clears throat> I have my train in green color, but if I open my railway manager, I'll see the uh, stages, you know, the instances, sorry, of uh, of the carriage, and the instances. Each one has uh, an, a script called train color, uh, which can be changed and can actually trick each um, way on individually so that would be suitable if you want to change the color of some of the way on and not all of them for example and um, okay let's say I want to add a, a railway now because you have a train and you want your train to be in a railway so what you have to do is you go into the railway um, Array. I going to say to to two. This railway uh, is to assign the profile of the railway itself. I'm going to show you. This this is um, uh, made by two pieces and one piece for you know uh, this is a single piece of uh, uh, railway in which you have. This, the, the, this cross piece and you have the railway itself and a, a support for a, you know for a kind of a structure uh, like it was like a kind of bridge uh, it was uh, uh, suspended into the air so you have this stuff I'm going to show you the wire this the the one that is going through the, the stage so I'm going to use two of these uh, prefabs in the manager, I'm going to assign it in uh, you know when we say items. Items, uh, I'm going to assign the step single, and I'm going to check this loop forward option and fix frequency. Uh, loop forward actually is for uh, if you want to make this um, this prefab look this way or the other way. It's just simply that. Um, look forward, it's okay. Fixed frequencies, um, it's if you don't hit this option, you can actually set the frequency of the object. You know, the frequency is like copies, is the, the number of, of segments is going to, to be uh, <clears throat> scattered um, through the the railway, the railway, uh, railway path. So, <clears throat> if you hit uh, fixed frequency, it would be not this um, variable frequency, uh, but it could be the wide of the prefab. You know, if I, you know, if if I see uh, if I check this fixed frequency. It would, would calculate through the long of the of the mesh, and by that it would actually calculate automatically, uh, automatically uh, calculate the number of of segment that should have. So we're going to to press this one and fixed length. It's going to be uh, it's a multiplier for fixed frequency. Uh, it's going to be one point zero five. And then we're going to hit play and see what happened. Okay, the first thing that should happen is an, an error because we have the, the breath up here. Okay, it's actually working, and we have uh, we have errors because of that. I'm going to clear that. Uh, I'm going to to turn this off, and I'm going to hit clear clear the, the console and hit play again, and let's see what we get now okay so it's working right now and we don't have 
error. So 1.05 give, give us this result, which is very uh, soft and very organic the real way. Okay, so let's say we're going to add this stand, uh, this uh, bridge support. Uh, so we have step angle, step pillar. Here we, we want uh, to leap forward, fre fix frequency and fix length. We want to assign here 25. We want to hit play. 25 times would uh, separate 25 times the um, the pilot and it's not um, appearing at all so let's see what's happening you know you have to assign at least one in frequency to uh, for this to to construct the, the railway so I'm going to save it and I'm going to press play and, uh, and check it let's see what happened okay so here we go we have the the railway we have the spline which is uh, driving the the railway we can in one time uh, modify the the railway itself the proportion and see what happened and then we could simply copy the component let's say for example I want to change the the shape of it I'm going to change it just a little bit uh, copy the component I'm going to paste it as value oh I'm sorry I, I just forgot to to copy the component in one time so I'm going to do it again so just hit play <coughs> so that's my point I'm going to change the shape just a little bit and I'm going to hit the copy component uh, option then I just pass into a component value and that's it uh, I can actually modify the shape of my spline Another interesting thing, you can actually reset uh, the spline if you want to set the, you know, the, the shape. You can uh, scale it and set new values to it. You can actually add more points and you can set the tangents into a line or mirror if you want more detail um, I, and you can undo stuff so I, I'm going to undo it and I'm going to get my original spline so <clears throat> for this to, to work it has to have this name spline uh, A and we hit play again and we have our spline and you have a loop option if you want the spline to be close or open okay oh, let's say I want my train to go through the railway but I want it to be just automatically I don't want to, to move it this time so I, I go and scroll down the, the railway manager and you have this option train automatic and this option rail automatic if you keep the train automatic as you can imagine you're going to to make the train go through the railway it can be uh, very interesting uh, this can be suitable for background for example and you can change the train speed you have here the, the variable so you can change it and go through it another, uh, another thing that it is added is as you can see the um, you know the wheels are actually moving so they have a script uh, which is really uh, driving uh, its uh, rotation. Oh, I'm going to let you see that by changing the speed. Let's see the train. I'm going to be very, 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 very slow because I want I want you to to see the, the change. Okay. Okay. It was not that easy to see, but you can check this out uh, let's see for example here, here okay 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 you can see here the actually the, the train the train wheels 
Okay, and one last thing. You can actually move the railway itself, which can be interesting too for games uh, which you don't want the train to move and you want just uh, not even the camera, you just want the, the railway to move. You can do that actually in these animal, animal um, variables. You have the automatic rail, so I want to test it. Just hit the, the option and the rail will start moving and you can change the speed of it and another thing is that if you if you don't move the train because you don't want to move it <coughs> while you're moving the, the railway you can see that the, the, the wheels are actually moving so if it is add up to this uh, motion motion of the rail the motion of the train it is all in one single script so the wheels will drive there. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I hope uh, you like it and uh, you find it very useful for your games. Um, this is for Emilion Studio and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.